got a homebrew review and I have to apologise, it's been a long time coming this review and this was sent to me by a chap called, I'm just going to have to look it up, Kyle T over on the homebrew forum and he sent me this, it's got to be three weeks ago now but it's been a bit of a, a crazy time in my um, kind of non-video life at the moment and uh, I just haven't got around to drinking it but I do apologise and I'm going to crack it open now. First beer of the day. It's an 1850 Stout Porter, it says on there. Dark Beer Brewery, Chelmsford, Essex. 56 IBUs at 6%. And I know he's uh, bottled this bright, so there's not going to be a whole heap of carbonation, but I'm going to use the uh, the meantime glass I've got that's got quite a, a good widget in it that kind of gives a little bit of uh, body to some beers. So. I should give it a little bit more. Whoa, it's already quite, quite lively actually. Well, maybe I didn't need this glass. Still a fair bit of yeast dropped out in there, so I'm gonna save some back in the bottle. It's got all the, the classic kind of chocolatey roasty notes that you'd come to expect. Right, I'm gonna dive in some. I'm quite thirsty. I've just got back from a, a kid's second birthday party, so not my child's, but that's nice, very smooth. Carbonation, I think this glass is just pushing it up, but it's bang on, it's got that kind of smoothness that you expect in a, a port rust out. There's nothing worse than I've done it myself, I over carbonated them, and you get like that fizziness and it just detracts from the taste of the beer. It ends up just being almost like drinking Coca Cola, it's just too fizzy, and stout's got to be just right. And while this has produced a, a heavy head, it's not kind of overly carbonated. I'd say you can tell that it's a, a 6% beer, that it's got a bit of strength to it. None of that kind of intrusive alcoholic note, but there's a sign there that there's a, a heaviness. It's got a real nice uh, back end taste. It's kind of like... Yeah, just that kind of real, the bitterness you get on kind of a, a stout with a kind of real rich chocolatey kind of coffee note. That the, This reminds me of a commercial beer. It's almost a little bit like... Apart from the head being a lot thicker and creamy because the, the commercial beer that I'm going to liken it to doesn't kind of have a head as such. It has a very thin cap. It's a bit like the uh, Harvest Down Brewery that has uh, old engine oil, and um, they do the like the versions of the, the reserve. I can't even think of the life of what they're called. They're some of the best beers I had. I kind of ordered the selection one day, and there was like different versions with like there was matured in casts that were like fifteen year, eighteen year, twenty one. But you get. Um, there's engine oil, and I'm sure there's like engineer's reserve engine oil. I can't remember, my brain's just... This is kind of reminds me of something along their lines that they would do, where it's got that kind of... Like a real kind of depth to it. It, it all, You can see the kind of like the... Not the lacing on the glass, but is it called the hips, whatever, where you get the kind of like the alcohol stick to the side of the glass? That you kind of get with a whiskey, it's kind of got that... A real rich note. I had a commercial beer last night, not of the same kind of standard for many reasons. Um, this is a lot better. 
purely because I'm not going to name and shame because it's not a bad beer, but it just weren't to my liking. It was nine and a half percent, and that was much like for me, like a, you know, a beer where it's more like a wine. You're gonna you're gonna sip it through the night. This is just kind of more my style. I think in, I think in nine is pushing it. It's, it's way too much. But this at six percent, it's got that kind of richness that that beer had without going too full pelt. There's nothing worse when you've got that alcoholic note that kind of detracts from the beer. It's kind of like just tastes like you're drinking like alcohol and nothing else. This has got the kind of all the roastiness, the flavoursome, the nice creamy head. It's lovely. Without a doubt, this has to be all grain. I mean, Kyle hasn't told me either way, but it it has to be. It, it, the way it tastes has to be, and if it isn't, and that was a beer kit, then, you know, but I'm, I'm pretty sure, he didn't say either way, but I'm pretty sure that this is an all grain. Fantastic. I don't think I've brewed anything to that standard in a, in a dark beer as yet. Probably my closest good dark beer at the moment is my Peculiar One recipe that I've done, but this is... Phenomenal. Really, really nice. So I can can't thank you enough, Kyle, for sending this to me. Managed to keep whatever. There was a tiny little drop out in there, only in the kind of little little recesses, but it's settled down nice in there now. The head is just so so creamy and sticking around. Exceptional for me. That's a a ten, an easy ten. I'd pay for that in a in a commercial bottle. Or fantastic. I can't knock it. There's no off flavors. Carbonation's bang on. Flavors great. I say it's kind of got the the elements of a a sipping beer, but at six percent, it goes down well. And as you're getting into it, when you first go in, you get that kind of warning that wow, this this is a sipping beer, but Look, it's it's nearly gone just because it tastes so damn good. Fantastic. Cheers, Kyle. Cheers.